Now it's time for part two of my song breakdown for the month of July. We're working on Little Walter's I Don't Play. And most of the guitar playing in the song consists of the fills that are played between each vocal verse. And so what I'm going to do is go through each one of these fills. And if you're just starting into electric blues guitar, especially this lesson will, I think, be very helpful for you to learn a lot of ideas for how to bend strings and play fills and stuff that you can use in leads as well. So the first fill, in verse 1, he sings the first verse of the song, then he plays this. And it's just a single string bend on the second blues box. So if we're playing in F, there's my first position bar chord between the first and the third frets. And down up here, between the fourth and the sixth frets, we have our second blues box. So the first lick, he's bending up on the sixth string and then letting down back to the sixth fret. So I'm using three fingers here, my first finger on the fourth fret, second on the fifth, ring finger on the sixth fret. And I'm bending up and then bringing it down. And then I'm just going back and forth between the fourth fret of the first string and the sixth fret of the second string. And I'm going to do a little vibrato to end it up. So one more time. Whoops, I missed it there. And that is the first fill in Little Walter's I Don't Play. Again, I have these all tabbed out so you can go through one at a time. Listen to the original song and see what I'm trying to The second fill is over the first position, blues box in F, and it goes like this. I can't hear exactly the notes in there, but that's what it sounds to me like he's playing. So he's starting out with this pretty typical blues guitar bend, bending on the third string at the third fret. And I'm using all three fingers again. Then he's going to get the first fret of the first string. And then very quickly, he's going to get the third fret of the fourth string, which is the F. So the whole lick goes like this. First part of it. That sounds to me like he's doing something like this. Just a quick bend up, then maybe the second string and the first string both at the first fret. Something like that. I can't hear it exactly, but the whole lick together sounds like this. And I can't tell if he's getting that or just playing third and the first string, so you can listen to it and see what you think, but it's, it's something along those lines. And that is the second fill, third first fill, and the first verse sounds like this. So he's going one more time. And what I'm doing, I'm in that second blues box again. So I'm going to go from the 6th fret of the 2nd string to the 4th fret. And then the... Sounds to me like he's going to the 4th fret of the 1st string. Back to the 6th fret of the 4th string. And then he's going to hammer on. And do a little vibrato on the 6th fret of the 2nd string. And then when he goes back to the 4th, he doesn't just hold it there. It sounds like he's sliding it up the neck. So like this. And that's what the lick sounds like to me. And that is the next verse, the next and fill. The fourth fill in this first verse goes like this. Again. So I'm starting out with a long bend, this time with all four fingers on the second string from the first fret to the fourth fret. Now I'm going to bend up and then get the first fret of the first string. And then I'm going to bend on the third string at the third fret. And I'm going to pull off from the third to the first and then wind up on the third fret, third to the first on the third string and then wind up on the third fret of the fourth string. So that's the first part. Then back to the first fret of the third string. Then 
I'm going to pull off from the third to the first on the fourth string, and then wind up on the third fret of the fifth string. So the whole thing so far. And then I'm going to go, let me just play the whole thing through. Then the first to the third on the fourth string, back to the first string, winding up on the third fret of the fifth string. So again. And then one more time. And then that's the end of the first verse. He goes to the five. And then and now in the second verse. Here we go to the second verse of the song. Again, he sings and then we have a whole new set of, of fills. So the first one goes like this. Again. Sounds to me like that's what he's doing. So he's in the second blues box, mostly here between the sixth and the fourth frets. So twice on the sixth fret, fourth fret, he's going to hammer on and do the vibrato on the sixth fret of the second string. Then he's going to push up a little bit, a little bend with one finger on the fourth fret of the first string. And then he sounds like he slides from the sixth to the eighth on the first string. And it comes back to the sixth fret of the fourth string. So the whole fill again. One more time. The second fill in the first verse, or the second fill in the second verse goes like this. Now he may be playing a little more than that because I can't hear with the band going on. He may finish it like this. Something like that. But I can't hear that. You could do that. But what I hear is this. And so that's what I'm going to tab out here. So I'm bending again on the second string with all four fingers. First fret of the first string. Now I'm doing this quick bend. And then pulling off from the third to the first, and then winding up on the third, third to the first on the third string, and winding up on the third fret of the fourth string. So the whole lick, like that, and then back and forth between the first fret of the third string and the third fret of the fourth string. And then this double stop, where I'm sliding. This position again, we've done this before with the, with the basic lick that we play over the 5 to the 4 to the 1. But I'm starting here with my 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, my ring finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. And then I'm going to pick, I'm going to slide on the 3rd string, pick the 3rd string, and then pick the 2nd string once I slide that finger to the 4th fret. And I'm going to slide back from the 5th fret of the 3rd string to the 3rd to the fret. To the 3rd fret of the 3rd string, 1st fret, 3rd fret of the 4th th string, then again, 1st fret of the 3rd string, 3rd fret of the 4th string. So the whole thing. Or maybe just... Yeah, it's just that. I'm trying to remember these things is not easy. So the whole thing. Yeah, I guess that is right. So there you go. It's That's an easy nice. one. We're going to do this. So just one time, we're going to bend up on the third string again. Again to the first fret of the first string. Then I'm going to pull off from the third fret of the third string to the first fret to the third fret of the fourth string. And then again from the third first fret of the third string to the third fret of the fourth string. That's the whole fill. And then the next fill. It's really a cool one. He's going to do this. So he 
he's going to bend up and then bring it back down on the second string. Bring it back down to the fourth fret of the second string. Then we can do that same. So this, he's going to go to the first fret of the second string. To the third fret of the third string. And then do that pull off from the third to the first on the third string. Wind up on the third fret of the fourth string. And then that same lick we've done a couple times before. Again. Now he may again continue that lick. He may do something like this. But I can't hear it with the other instruments going on. You could stop it where I stopped it, or you could play on a little bit. That's what I'm hearing. And he really makes that moan. It's got kind of a different sound to it when he plays it. Now it's time to look at the next verse. Now the third verse of the song is a harmonica solo, and then when he gets into the fourth verse, the first fill he plays after the vocal line is this. So he's playing more on the, on the fifth and the fourth strings. So he's starting on the third fret of the fifth string. Going to the first fret of the fourth string, third fret. And he's doing a little vibra vibrato there. And then he's going to go third, first, third, and then to the first fret of the third string. So it's third to first. So the whole leg. He's going to wind up on the first fret of the third string. That's it right there. Third, first, third. First fret of the third string. Second fill is the next, next verse. The fourth verse goes like this. I'm calling the harmonica solo the third verse. So this is the next is called the next verse. It goes like this. So he's starting out this time on the on the F, which is the third fret of the fourth string. And he's going to wind up on the first fret of the fourth string. So he's walking from the third fret of the fourth string to the first fret of the third string. And he's doing the band on the third string. Again, on the first fret of the first string, he does that a lot. Now pull off again on the third to the first of the third string, to the third fret of the fourth string. And this time he's going to go from the third fret of the fourth string to the first fret to wrap it up. So the whole lick. Like that. goes like this. And it sounds to me like he's starting on the 5th fret of the 3rd string. And then walking in the 2nd blues box from the 4th fret to the 6th fret. Where he does the vibrato. And then does that back and forth between the 6 to the 4 to the 6. More vibrato. And then again, hits the 4th fret of the 1st string and slides it. So the whole lick. That's what I'm hearing. And that is the next fill. The last lick, probably one of the more complicated ones. He does something like this. So he's going to combine two different bands. The first one... That long bend on the second string, again to the first fret of the first string. Then he's going to bend up on the third fret of the third string, bring it down again to the third fret, and then the first fret of the third string, third fret of the fourth string. We've done that a bunch of times, so the first part of it, that's the first leg. And then he goes. He does another bend from the third fret this time of the third string. 
hits that note again, and then bends up again on the third string, brings it down, then that pull off, hammer on, pull off, from the three to the one, that lick again, so the whole thing. That's what I'm hearing there. One more. Now the last verse, the sixth verse, which follows the fifth verse, which is a harmonica solo, starts out with a fill like this after the first verse. So he's starting out one more time. Actually, he goes. So he's starting out again on the sixth fret of the second string to the fourth fret of the first string. He's going to slide from the sixth to the seventh fret of the first string. Back to the sixth fret to the fourth fret of the first string. So the whole thing. Back to the sixth fret of the, of the second string. 4th fret, 6th fret of the 2nd string, whole thing so far, he's going to do this little hammer on pull off from the 4th fret to the 6th fret of the 1st string, so the whole thing, and then wind up on the 6th fret of the 2nd of the string again. One more time. Neat. One last time. Second fill of the last verse goes like this. Now, I'm not sure exactly where he starts it from. It sounds like maybe just a hammer on from the fourth fret to the sixth fret on the second string. Then he's going to slide on the third string from the fifth fret to the third fret. Like that. And then he does a little more. You know, typical between the first fret of the first third string, third fret of the third string, that hammer on pull off or pull off, winding up again on the third fret of the fourth string, which he does quite a bit. So that whole thing, something like that. Next fill of the last verse, he does something like this, where he's bending. So he's going to bend on the second string again, again to the first fret of the first string, and he's going to bend up again, and then bring it down to the fourth fret of the second string, to the first fret of the second string, and then he's walking from the third fret of the third string to the first fret of the third string to the third fret of the fourth string, that same position again. One more time. And the band, he really kind of makes it moan. Which, listen to the original recording and you'll hear. And then the very last fill of the song, the very last one, he does this. One more time. And what he's doing is starting out by sliding on the third string from the third fret to the fifth fret. And then back to the first fret of the third string. Then he bends up slowly on the third string of the third fret of the third string. And we heard that before. Check the tab. This is stuff we've done a bunch of times already. One more time. Something like that. If I have the timing exactly right, but that's what he's playing. That might be closer. And that's the last one. And then the last verse of the song. He ends on the on the stop right there. So if you take all those ideas that I showed you and all these different fills. with a bunch of different ideas for solo. One more time. All sorts of stuff you can pull out of there. Yeah. Little 
little slides, vibrato, the the hammer-ons, pull-offs, all sorts of neat little things that make it cool. Now it's not real complicated, but it's getting it to sound sound smooth and, and tasteful. And that's what's really cool about the song is he doesn't repeat much. He plays the same ideas, but each time he recycles it in a different way. So there's lots. It shows you how you can take the simple first position blues box and a little bit of the second blues box and come up with really infinite ideas for how to play. So that is my song breakdown for the month of July 2015, The Little Walters I Don't Play. If you have any questions or comments, contact me, let me know. I'll be back again in August with another song breakdown of some old classic blues song from the 50s or the 60s.